901 now, our top story this hour, Chicago police asking for your help identifying a possible suspect in a shooting that killed two teens and wounded two others outside of a West Side High School. It happened Friday afternoon outside Benito Juarez High School. Courtney Spinelli joins us from Stroger Hospital with more. Courtney. Good morning to you both. At last update, the two victims injured in this shooting were being treated here at the hospital for their injuries. Officials have identified a 15 year old boy killed in this shooting as Brandon Perez. They have not yet released the identity of the 14 year old boy who was also killed. We do want you to take a look at both of these photos released this morning by Chicago police. They show a person police say they're looking to identify in connection with the shooting. Police are not calling this person a suspect, but say if you do see them, do not approach and instead call 911. Yesterday, police released a description of the suspected shooter saying they were wearing a black mask, a black hoodie, and a black North Face jacket. The shooting happened yesterday as students were being dismissed at Benito Juarez High School in Pilsen. CPD says the two boys killed were both shot in the head. A 15 year old boy was shot in the thigh and shoulder, said to be in good condition. A 15 year old girl also suffered a graze wound to her thigh. A parent who volunteers as a crossing guard tells WGN he heard multiple shots fired as students were told to get back inside. I feel sick. I feel angry because there are things that should not be happen in the school. In the, school. the kids come to school to, edu to get edu to educated, to get um, tools for the future. It's not good what is happening right here. We're already working with the staff now. We're working with the principal. Uh, we'll be providing supports, um, you know, as needed this weekend. Now, the shooting is sparking reaction from politicians and groups sharing their sympathies to those impacted. Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker writing in part, quote, my heart goes out to the family and friends of those who lost their lives. He continued to say, quote, we must put an end to these unspeakable tragedies and rid our communities of gun violence. Police and CPS officials not yet confirming whether any of the victims in this shooting were students at the high school. They've also not shared what they believe led up to this shooting. The district says additional security measures will be in place come Monday. Reporting outside Stroger Hospital, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News. Courtney, thank you for that.